Well, hello folks, welcome to episode 4 of our ninth season here at Riga FC. I'm the Custard Prophet, this is the Latvian job, and as you can see behind me, um, we are coming back quite as late on in our Champions League qualifying campaign as I might have thought. We've got a bit of a hairy one to come. Yeah folks, well, we have made progress in the Champions League. It's been a bit hit and miss to be honest, uh, against teams we should have done much better against we've played well but again just struggled to put the ball in the back of the net um, let's all look at uh, what has been going on you'll see we still have our 100% records since we were last together I think that was when was that that was away against Lepaja Lepaja We've only played a couple of games. Uh, home against Alda, 5 0 victory. Pape Daff with three. Erglis and Krollis. And Noah uh, away, 4 1 win here. Bru, Mendia, Tariq, and Ilyev. Uh, do you know this guy? Have a look at this guy. He's uh, a new signing. Um, youngster, 18 year old Bulgarian. I think he looks pretty good. Certainly will develop into something pretty spectacular. So, uh, yeah, another player to. Uh, it's going to grace our, our midfield and uh, actually that's not the only player we've brought in. Uh, Francho, who is coming, he's a 27 year old Spaniard, but he's more of a sort of ball winning midfielder um, type player. So uh, he is going to be replacing, uh, what's his name? I've forgotten it already. Another player who's left. I've got all these transfers. Kutsia has gone to Metalist for about 500k. So I was pretty pleased with that. Uh, I think we made a little bit of money on him, um, so that's that's absolutely fine. Uh, but yeah, in the Champions League, we uh, got through our first game against uh, uh, Slovan Bratislava. Not the easiest game, but 3-0 uh, first leg victory. Misu Lisinovs, I thought there wasn't going to be much issue, and there really wasn't, shouldn't be much issue. We went 1-0 up with uh, Lisinovs getting another goal. Uh, then we scored another goal, but it was disallowed. And then you can see two late, late goals from them actually gave them the win in the game, which was a bit frustrating. Against Fehervar from Hungary, we absolutely smashed them over over two legs. 6-1 uh, in the first leg. Kiyadio Misu with a couple. Vieira and Lisinovs with a couple. And then the second leg, Fehervar. Um, in the second leg, Pape Daff scored two. And Yao Zem's got a uh, rare, rare goal. But, so we drew then Astana in the um, next round, and I thought, well, it's a reasonable chance to get through against this. I think they're a three and a half star rated side. In this game, we were dominant, absolutely dominant. Um, we, we won it 2-1, and when they scored, they hadn't actually had a shot uh, at all. Uh, but we created many, many one-on-one -on -one chances uh, just couldn't get it past their goalkeeper. It was very frustrating. Uh, Popovic and Krollis did score the goals, but we are only 2-1 up. And we're going away from home against the side who are not a bad side. Uh, I would like to have a little bit more in the bank, but uh, that's what we're going to do today. Are we going to win this? If we do, what's the what's the target? If, if we do win it, we already know who we'd be playing in the playoffs. It's a bugger. It's a real bugger of a, uh, a draw. Um, we've got Salzburg, which that seems that seems a harsh draw, but we've drawn against them and we've lost against them. So we're going to have to do better than we did two years ago if we are going to progress there. But let's uh, let's not count our uh, chickens because we need to get through this game against Astana first, and we've only got a one goal lead going into the away leg. Let's go and play it. So this is the team we're going with. We've got Misu, Krollis and Popovic uh, playing there. Krollis has been playing in that central role for the last few games. He's done all right. Uh, so we're going to keep him playing that. Back midfield, Bru, Vieira and Chiadio. It's a good three, that is. A very, very good three. The back line, Messina, Mendia, Stankos and Yazums across the back with Abda in goal. It's, it's a, a fairly changed side, if you think about it from last year. Not that many players who, who were here last year. Popovic is new, Bru, Vieira, they're all new. Uh, Mendia, Messina, Abde, all new. So a lot of new players that we're going to be, uh, that we're trying to uh, get into this side. 
We're still 100% for the season as well. I didn't make that absolutely clear. We're way ahead in the league. Um, so can we do 200% seasons on the trot? That would be something, wouldn't it? Yeah, we got a question about leaving Tariq out um, and why we've done that. I mean, he's good, but he's mainly there for free kicks. So if we are struggling a little bit to create chances, he is the player we might go to. So just maybe get a few chances from free kicks. Right, Vieira with the corner. Can we score an early one? We do, you know, Crawlis with a header. <sighs> and let the uh, relieved air breathe out. That's, that's, that's good. I was I was a little bit concerned coming into this game, I have to be honest. I feel we've got no chance in the next game if we get through this. Uh, but it does mean we drop into the Europa League. So there's a chance then to, you know, do what we did last season and uh, maybe qualify from that group. Oh, Messina's lost it. That's, oh, he's picked it up again. Mendia into Krolis. Krolis over the top. It's Popovic. Popovic. Oh, it's a great save. And you see what I mean. Yet another save. Ah, oh, we should be 2 0 up. Vieira's up. Oh, lovely, uh, lovely corner. Didn't quite get on the end of it. Misu's now running through. Into Brew. Misu, a lot of space. And we don't get that one away. Well, uh, here's Messina. Yet again, we're struggling to throw the ball in. I don't know why that's such a difficult task for us. Misu. Ball in. And Krollis off the post. Of course he does. Of course that's what's happening. It's Kazakhstan, isn't it, Astana? Yeah. Vieira, corner. Ball in. Over the top. It'd be nice to get someone who can head back in the team won't it what's all this about right chips over Vieira I don't know what that was <laughs> we just punched it for no reason under no pressure we just caught it yeah, we could have scored from that you've got to feel if we don't get through this something very wrong has happened Vieira Chiardio and he's lost the ball there but Yet to see really anything from the uh, the Kazakhs. Don't know why it's struggling quite so much. I have kind of switched my computer on and off again just to make sure this didn't happen. So God knows what this is all about. It, it was a save. Not that you could tell. Well, well done, Abdi. Just makes the save at the end there. Right, I'm just going to sort of have a play with my computer and see if there's something in the background that's breaking everything. Yeah, no idea what it was. Um, so it's, uh, we'll just have to endure it. Sometimes the computer runs quite smoothly. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but there was nothing obvious in the background. So here we go. We've lost that one. Just uh, given it away. And it's a chance. The man with all the letters in his name. <laughs> oh my god how did that not go in oh wow well we have a couple of chances a stunner all of a sudden but here's Vieira chips it in and it's in the back of the net Misu makes it 2-0 that's important and that should be too much for them surely it does feel like they're getting back into the game a little bit here Vieira Stankus round the back has dangerous times doing that sort of stuff. Angelino's picked it up. The long ball didn't quite work. But Chiardio's picked it up again. Popovic. Chiardio, he's going to find another ball undoubtedly. Oh, it's a lovely ball this time. It's into Yazems. Crosses it. Misu, three. Don't know what I was worried about, really. It's pretty much the same as the last, last leg, to be fair. We've dominated for the majority they've had virtually nothing but uh yeah you, you might have thought they'd have scored with the one chance they did have messina again he tries to get it in there don't know what he's doing is that Samoliev the one Samoliev we had the one who wasn't very good the russian lad might be
Come on. Right, pick that one up. Stank us now. Pleased how well he's developed, to be honest. Lovely ball into Yazems. He's getting a little bit unhappy now. Ball in. Misi's got his hat trick. At least it's not raining, otherwise we'd be in real trouble, wouldn't we? So up to on to 60 minutes. And we've just got our, our hat trick there. We're going to make a change now. Um, Okay, take Vieira off. That's, yeah, and Francho. Probably Franco, isn't it? Uh, he can come on. It's been pleasing. Very, very impressive. Um, the second leg, this is dominated start to finish. Well, we've uh, taken Yazems on, put Belovs on instead. 4-0, it doesn't really matter, and looks like a highlight to the Kazakh team. Decent ball in. Bloody hell, Yazems hasn't come off yet. Just uh, just about. <laughs> he wanted to make an impact before he left the field by the look of it. Bloody hell, man. Well, we'll make a last sub here. It could be almost anybody who comes off. Um, I think we will make a change up top. We'll bring Popovich off, Pape Daff on. He's been playing well recently, so it's, it's very right to be thinking about him as a difference maker. He scored a hat-trick in a recent game, and then uh, in one of the games in the last leg, or the last round, he scored, I think he scored a second hat-trick, didn't he? Or scored a couple of goals. Done very well. Misu. Balls through. <laughs> Lovely ball into Krollis. And Krollis finishes it off. One on one, he's not been that great, but he started the scoring and he looks like he might have finished it there. 5 0 dominant performance. We are heading to the playoffs for the uh, the Champions League, which is awesome. Well, Krollis has picked it up again. Chiadio balls through. What are you going to do, man? <laughs> it's a terrible pass. That loves this time. Misu. And it's brute, and somehow it clipped off. I think Crollis and just went over the bar. Didn't want Brute to score, but it looks like it just put his foot in the way. Late chance here now. Eighty-seven on the clock. We're pretty much done. Misu, can he get a fourth, or is he going to be um, magnanimous? Pape Daff, glancing header. It looks like he was offside though. And that's all she wrote. 5 0 victory uh, away from home. Um, yeah, it was comfortable. It was very comfortable. Should have done better in the first leg, but we did finish much, much better than that. I did put some chance conversion training, and I wonder how much difference that made. But uh, yeah, 7 1 win in the end in the uh, over the two legs, uh, which is pretty damn comfortable. So there we go. This is what we'll be doing in the next game. We're playing Salzburg. Any other of these teams I would take over Salzburg. Salzburg are going to be a real, real challenge. Four star reputation side. They're a decent side. We just, yeah, not quite sure how we're gonna deal with that, but we are gonna try our very, very best to get past Salzburg. If we do that, that would be an absolutely enormous result. Um, but I'm I'm expecting us probably to drop down into the Europa League, which would be kind of fun uh, because we haven't played in the Europa League group stages for a little while. We've been in the, the Champions League every time. Uh, and, you know, although we spent quite a lot of money this year, um, in fact, we're down to £42 million in the bank. So, yeah, we've, we've gone down quite... I mean, we've bought a lot of players, haven't we? So, eight million pounds? Wow, that's something. Uh, but anyway, we'll worry about that another time. Uh, we've got we've got money to come in whichever one of these uh, groups we're in. It will be about five million if it's Europa League. It'll be a lot more than that if it's the Champions League. So uh, let's see what happens. 
Anyway, folks, if you enjoyed that, please hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you for the match against Salzburg. Goodbye.